How important are they in your program? Well, I mean, uh, the, the bridle that you use really translate what you're trying to do to the horse. So they're very important, whether it's uh, in the early stages in a hackamore or a side pull or a snaffle all the way to a bigger show bridle. I mean, it, it, uh, it kind of helps the horse mature or it can back up and help a horse go over some things that they learned early on. So it's, it's very important what you work your horse in. And when would you start introducing leverage, you know, like a correctional and those little things? Uh, you know, pretty early in their three-year-old year, I like to put a, like a small, just a short shank correction, maybe a leather curb, something with a martingale, so as close as I can get it to a snaffle, but with uh, more stop, maybe a little bit more leverage. And it, and it takes a while for them to really get used to it. They're not just going to automatically pack it like they do a snaffle. So it, yeah. it's definitely a transition. Uh, and you mentioned the leather curb. Tell me the difference between a leather curb and a chain curb, I guess, in how a horse might respond. You know, I like to, I like to show a horse and, you know, like this, this elephant bit right here, I, I, that's what I call it. It's a Daryl Davis bit. Um, I've shown him this bit um, a lot at the maturity. I like it a lot early on in their show career. Uh, some horses, I may keep them in a correction. Um, you know, like a, a Buster Welts shank that's swiveled. I don't see one right here, but I'm sure there's one in here. But um, it depends on the horse. Some horses, as you go, you want to put a straight bridle on them. They may get a little stiff. You may want to go back to... And, and so the, the elephant, it's such a daunting looking bridle, isn't yeah. it? But where's it misunderstood or how do people use it incorrectly, you reckon? Well, I mean... I mean, to me, the biggest misconception in putting a bigger bridle like this on a horse is people put it on there, and they and they don't they they, they go to it with an attitude of they're going to get a horse back more than they're going to more than they're going to put them into this bridle. A lot of people go to a bigger bridle to get onto a horse for something other than you know you you can you can scare a horse in a twisted bar snaffle just as much as you can in this. It's all about how you use it. Uh, putting a bigger bridle like this on a horse allows me to have softer hands to where I'm not getting in the horse's way when they're working a cow. I can stop a horse real quick and not scare them if I use my hands and my feet right with this bridle just as easy as I can with, um, you know, and, and, and like some horses, like this, this bridle here has a, a little leather curb on it. Um, you know, we show a lot in this bridle. Uh, it, it just really depends on the individual, and, and part of getting ready for the fraternity is figuring out what bridle a horse feels comfortable in, and, and not just working the horse, but cutting your cows, because, you know, once, once you put your hand down, the bridle's really immaterial. Right. You know, so you need to be able to cut your cows with them. Uh, a horse handles well in it. They're comfortable in it. Um, they were, I mean, the, the heavier the bar right here, the, the more weight it has, the more, uh, I don't like a real big bar. That's not a terribly big bar. Um, the smaller bars like that can be a little sharper, be a little quicker. Um, you know, like in, in this bit right here, a lot of the feel comes from right here in that mouthpiece because it's got a pretty quick little 90 degree angle right there. And so it's just right there on their tongue. It's a little bit quicker than a bridle like this that's rounded. Um, you know, the length of the purchase, the length of the, it allows you to work a horse uh, with your hands lower and not have to do near as much to make them come back to you when you're working a cow. Um, it, like anything else, it can be overused. It can make a horse, uh, I've noticed that horses that you work in a tie down too much kind of get their feet out in front of their face. They kind of.